Hey you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it has been like a million years since I last vlogged, but I just figured, you know, today is a good day to vlog because why not, you know? Um, so I hope you can see me relatively decently. The lighting is not really the best because um, I'm underneath this bunk bed. But currently I am, um, I'm in the middle of doing a job application because um, I am currently unemployed, but we'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, I'm just doing that right now. Then after that, I'm going to just freshen up a little bit and um, I'm probably going to go for a walk to the park because um, it's a little, well, not a little, it is gloomy outside, but kind of matches how I feel. Um, but I know it's not supposed to be like hot at all today. Um, and I think it's supposed to be a little breezy too. So perfect weather for me to go outside and, you know, just do something. So I will come back when I finish this and we're going to go to the park together. So we have much better lighting now. <laughs> um, I finished with the application a lot sooner than I thought. Um, I basically applied for the same company, Sam's Club, um, just a different location. Um, we'll talk about that um, as I'm walking to the park, but um, I'm looking a little rough, but it's okay. Um, but before I go, I want to show you my outfit of the day. So the shorts, um, I just got these from Aeropostale. Um, and then this shirt, oh my gosh. Isn't this like the coolest shirt? Like if, you, if any of you know me personally, I'm not saying any of you, like I'm a big YouTuber, but for anybody who does know me personally, like you know, like I love SpongeBob. Like I grew up on SpongeBob, 21 years old, and I still love SpongeBob. Um, so I got this at TJ Maxx the other day, both this and um, these shorts. Um, I went to Tennessee um, the other day um, and I did like some I wouldn't say major shopping, but definitely not the small, cheap shopping that I plan on doing. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta treat yourself. And I was sad and shopping makes me happy. So yeah, but this is my outfit. Um, and in the shoes, I'm just wearing these cheap ass flip flops that I really need to get rid of, but um, yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, so I'm having to like ease myself back into this, you know, gently. So I had to like make sure that I wasn't around like a whole bunch of people while I was vlogging. Just cause you know, I'm very shy and you know, <laughs> even if nobody's paying me any mind, it's like, I just feel like a whole bunch of people are like looking at me because it's like, I'm just, you know, a black guy with a camera. <laughs> but I really do want to start vlogging more. So, you know, I want to, um, just get out of that because really like it's nothing to be nervous of or shy about or whatever and if you see me looking up it's just because i'm trying to look and see if i can cross the street which i can't because life's red but um so yeah i said that i was going to um talk about um damn it's traffic coming i can't cross but um i did say like as i was walking to the park i wanted to um talk about uh my... Hold on. It was somebody standing next to me. I got scared. <laughs> but anyways. Um, so, I was going to talk about, you know, my whole experience with being unemployed. Well, I won't go, like, the whole thing on this walk. But um, just about, you know, Sam's Club. Because um, I did mention that, um, you know, I probably have the same company, just different locations. So, I did have an interview at a Sam's Club yesterday. And... The interview went very well. I mean, every interview that I have, like, you know, no matter how well it goes, because, I mean, I've never had a bad interview. I just never assumed that um, I'm going to get the job because, you know, I just don't want to, like, get disappointed. Um, but needless to say, I did not get the job. Um, when I woke up this morning, you know, I was just scrolling through all my notifications that I saw on my home screen and... I got an email back from Sam's Club saying thank you for your interest. Da, da, da. We just wanted to let you know that we have not <laughs> decided to, you know, um, proceed any further with the application. And, you know, being that that's like the first thing that, you know, I saw waking up, you know, it just kind of bummed me out a little bit. And then, you know, it's cloudy and gloomy, as you can see. 
Um, I wish y'all could see in front of me because it really looks like it's about to rain and I'm gonna like throw a fit if it does. Um, but, um, yeah, so I was a little sad about that because I quit my last job at Amazon about three weeks ago. So I've been living off like my last little bit of money from Amazon and then now I'm about to have to dip into my savings, which, you know, that's never a good thing, but you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But, um, when I was just looking on Indeed for jobs, I saw another Sam's Club was hiring and I was like, shit, if one won't hire me, another one will. <laughs> and I just feel like, I don't care if this sounds arrogant or cocky or whatever, because I know what I bring to the table. Workers like me are a dime a dozen, okay? Because, <laughs> you know, I'm very loyal. You know, like, Amazon is the only job that I've had that, like, I quit in a very short period of time. At any other job that I've had, I've paid it, but I always stay, you know? Um, it takes a lot for me to go. I'm not the type of person, you know, where you're gonna push me out. Um, where you're gonna push me out easily. But, um, yeah, so, just trying to, find something out here oh lord <laughs> um but yeah um so where have I been oh my goodness um cause it has been like almost a whole year since I have uploaded anything to my channel um honey I have been going through a lot okay a lot this past year has not been easy for me it hasn't been like well I, I did have some bad times <laughs> um and you know I will talk about that in other videos um but it hasn't been rosy <laughs> since the last time you know I, I uploaded to my channel um but not only that but just you know I don't know YouTube isn't really like high on my priority but then it's like I love to create and like right now this is just like my outlet that I can do that and I miss this I miss this oh shit I'm gonna slip <laughs> I, I really do miss this I really miss you know picking up the camera and just documenting you know my life because you know I used to do this more often you know um like two two and a half years ago and you know, I like just stopped and I feel like there's a lot of moments in my life that I really wish that I would have captured. Even if it was like just something, you know, stupid. It's like, you know, like I just documented it because, you know, I, I do this because I want something to look back on as I get older. Because um, from time to time I do look back at my old vlogs and, you know, I just get happy just, you know, looking at where I was then and where I am now. Um, but... I do want to get back into it and especially now that I have more time to dedicate to creating because it ain't like I got a job but um yeah um I'm just telling y'all now what the next couple videos are gonna be um so the video after this I'm gonna do an update on my car because tomorrow makes a whole year since I bought it like I cannot believe it's been a whole year um but I want to film that tomorrow too so I just got to figure out, like, where I'm going to do that at. But, um, then after that, I want to do, um, uh, what it's like to work at Amazon. Because, y'all, that was some ghetto-ass shit. And I just feel like <laughs> I need to tell my story. Because, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I think I want to do that as, like, a mukbang. Um, and then I also want to do a video about Georgia State because I just feel like the truth needs to be told about this wonderful school I go to <laughs> but um, I do have some ideas on some videos that I want to upload next so um, definitely be on the lookout for that and before I go because my arm is getting tired <laughs> um, the, the crazy thing to me you know 
Now, even though I haven't uploaded in a minute, you know, I do check my stats on my channels, and sometimes I do get comments on some of my videos, um, which my car tour has recently hit 1K. I just want to thank everybody for watching that. <laughs> um, it's my first and only video to reach 1K, for that matter. Um, but, you know, I haven't uploaded in a minute, and it's like, I still get, like, people subscribing to my channel. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed, because, you know, I know, I probably have people unsubscribe because it's, they're just like, well, damn, is this a dead channel? Like, are they ever going to upload? But I want to get back into it. Hey, y'all, uh, so I'm back again. Um, so I was on my way to the park, but I'm turning back now because it is raining. And it just seemed like <laughs> the closer I was getting to the park, the um, heavier it was starting to get. And, you know, like, I didn't bring no jacket, no hoodie or anything like that. And then, you know, my hair is in braids. So I don't want it to get, you know, messed up from, like, you know, too much water hitting it. So we're heading on back. All right. So I'm back in my room. Excuse the messy bed behind me. You know, <laughs> it's just me in here. So, you know, I don't really care to make my bed up like that. But... Um, so, oh my gosh, like, today has just been, like, blah. Like, you know, I woke up and I saw that, um, you know, Sam's, you know, um, you know, said I didn't get the job. And then, you know, when I applied to the, um, the other one that I did, um, earlier this morning, you know, like my, um, other application, you know, it was still on file because it's recent. And, you know, it shows you, like, what your status is. And it was, like, no longer under consideration. And, you know, like, I just felt triggered by that, you know. Um, but, like I was saying earlier, it's they lost, not mine. Because, you know, they could really benefit from a worker like me. But, obviously, you know, it just wasn't meant for me to have that job. And, you know, God has done better for me. Um, I just hope I can get a job soon. Um, but... I really was looking forward to going to the park, but um, the weather, which is crazy because I checked the weather before I left um, to see like if it was going to rain because if it was, I obviously wasn't going to go, but it said it was just supposed to be cloudy and then boom, it starts raining. And I just decided to turn back because I didn't want to get drenched and I definitely didn't want, you know, my hair to get ruined. Um, so there's that. But um, while I'm sitting down, you know, I just want to like just talk about like why I've been feeling kind of down lately. Um, I've kind of been feeling down for about a month now off and on. Um, it really started when I started seeing like a lot of people, you know, like prepping for graduation or um posting graduation pictures, like just anything having to do with graduation, um, college. Um, and you know, it, it just kind of like really hit me, I guess, harder because I just feel like right now, I just don't know like what I'm doing. <laughs> and I mean, I'm only 21. So, you know, of course, I mean, it's not expected of me to have everything figured out, but I think I just put so much pressure on myself and I just never thought that I would be in a predicament where it's just like, what do I do? Where do I turn? Like, you know, um, what do I have going for myself, basically? And, you know, that's that's just not really a good feeling to have. Um, and the reason why, like, you know, seeing other people graduate, you know, why that hit me is because um, while I don't know if that's them graduating on time, I mean, I assume that, you know, and I'm just talking about people my age that I've seen, um, I assume that it was, and you know, a lot of, you know, people like to flex. So, you know, they're talking about, you know, I graduated, you know, summa cum laude, you know, and I was a single mother or, you know, like X, Y, and Z happened and I worked full time, you know, and I'm just like, wow, I'm just not shit. <laughs> um, and I mean, I know that's an awful thing to say, but it's like, I just kind of feel like that really because, you know, I mean, I've had my own things happen, but it's just like, you know, why did I let it get to me? You know, um, I'm not graduating on time. Um, that's the, I've just accepted that. I'm, I'm not graduating on time. Um, I'm due to graduate next spring, um, but that's just not happening. Um, 
my goal is to graduate next year, hopefully in December, but May, that's definitely not happening. Um, I mean, my sophomore year, I withdrew from two classes, um, one fall, one fall semester, to, um, the other um, spring semester. Um, and then one of those classes, Spanish in particular, like the first time that I withdrew, which in the fall semester, sophomore year, it was just because I was taking a full load and, you know, I was working a lot um, and I just had a lot going on. I just didn't want to, you know, fail that class because that was the class that I felt like I was really going to do bad in. But, you know, then I retook Spanish last year and then I, well, um, fall semester last year, I failed. Um, and then now I'm in summer school. Um, and Georgia State is just, we're going to talk about them in a video coming very soon. I'm not going to get into anything that's going on with them right now. Um, but, um, I know I'm not a failure for not graduating on time or not being on track to graduate on time because I mean, life is, it's not a race, it's a marathon, but it's just like, damn, you know, like just looking back at, you know, just how my college experience has been. And, and, and it's been some things that have just been out of my control. I mean, I just can't help what has happened. You know, all I can do is just, you know, get back up and, you know, just focus on just getting out of here because I really hate this school and I'm tired of it. Um, but, um, you know, that has to do with it too. You know, just kind of feeling like, you know, what am I doing with my life? You know, there's so, and the crazy thing is, it's not that I don't know what I want to do. It's just that like, I'm just not really taking the steps to actively pursue my dreams. And I think a lot of it just has to do with fear. And then just, you know, I don't want to say laziness, but it's just like, you know, I just wait. I mean, it's just like, what am I waiting for? I mean, you know, time was working against me. You know, I don't have all the time in the world, you know, especially in the field that I want to be in, you know, the sooner I get started, the better, because, you know, I really need to work on, you know, making connections because it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And then once you know the right people, then that's when you can show them what you know. But, you know, right now I, I really just need to get myself out there. Um, I've also been down a little bit lately because um, I am in a relationship and I'm not going to put, you know, all of my business out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just to like really generalize, you know, a few things. Um, I am in a relationship, a new relationship at that. Um, we got together the 5th, and today is June 22nd. So it has been going on three weeks now. Um, and I'm going to say that talking to somebody and then actually being with them are two totally different things. Um, it just seems like for me, when I'm in a relationship, you know, it, it seems like, you know, when I talk to somebody, things are just perfect. Especially if it's somebody, or a guy, who I feel meets all of my characteristics of, you know, what I want in somebody else. You know, it seems like it just goes perfectly. But then being with them, it's just, that's, that's when I really get to see everything the good the bad and the ugly and that's that's what i'm experiencing right now and there's just been like a lot of negativity going on and it's just making me feel like well you know of course i want to be with them and i want to you know be there through everything that he's going through but then it's like i have my own shit going on too and it's like i can't expend all of my energy over here when i need to save her you know, whatever strength I have for me, because I mean, I, I'm not gonna say I've been going through it, but I mean, like, I just ha really have not been like my happiest, you know, lately. Um, and, you know, maybe I just need to focus on myself a little bit, but um, I just don't know what to do regarding that, you know. Um, I prayed, I, I did pray earlier this morning. And, you know, I just said, just give me a sign, God, you know, on whether 
And it's like, here's the thing. It's like, even if it's like, you know, I just need to take a step back. You know, I don't want to end the relationship permanently. Maybe it's just, you know, I need to um, just take a break, get myself together, he get himself together because honestly, neither one of us are in a desirable situation right now. Um, and then, you know, when things are better for the both of us individually, then we can see about coming back together. But I don't know. Um, I'm just going to take everything day by day and, you know, just see what happens and just it just keep praying. I need to, you know, get back to praying. You know, I, I say that, but I really need to, you know, mean what I say, basically. Say what I mean, mean what I say, you know. Um, but I'm hanging in there, though. I'm hanging in there. I mean, I've been through stuff way worse than this. I mean, trust me. I mean, I'm not like down and out crying and all this, but I mean, I, I could be a lot better. Um, but it does feel good to just, you know, do this. And you know, this video, honestly, it's for me. I mean, I'm probably gonna post or promote it on my story, Instagram, not Snapchat. Um, just to be like, oh, hey, you know, after a million years, I uploaded a video, but you know, um, it's for me. Like, I'm not gonna really jazz this video up too much, you know, I'm not gonna do a thumbnail for it because this really isn't that kind of video. It's just supposed to be a video just saying, hey, I'm alive. <laughs> um, I'm alive and I'm out here, I'm trying, um, you know, but it, it does feel good to, you know, just be back in front of the camera and just, you know, be me. Um, but I think that's pretty much everything I have to say because this clip is going on 11 minutes long. But um, that's just a little bit about, you know, like just what I'm going through currently. Um, but for the time being, um, I am starving. I did not eat any breakfast. I don't have any food in here. So um, I think I'm gonna walk to Chick-fil-A and I'm just give me a fry and a milkshake and that'll kind of be like my meal for the day until I eat dinner, whatever that'll be. But um, I am coming back later on because um, I am going out later on. I just gotta, uh, <gasps> excuse me. I just have to um, run to Walmart and I'm gonna go to Total Wine. I'm gonna get some wine because baby, I need a drink. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you guys what I get um, from there. Um, this video is going up today. It's going up today. And I'm going to do normally like when I edit my videos, like I wait until like all of the clips or well, I'm done vlogging basically. So I just do everything at once. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it together as I go, because I'm pretty sure like, um, when I go out later on, that's like going to be like the end of the vlog. So I'm gonna just put together everything that I have now and then whatever I record later, that's gonna be it. So then that way, all I gotta do is just export the video and upload it to YouTube and then bam, it's uploaded today. Um, but yes, um, until I come back later on, I will holla at y'all later. Hey, so I am back. Um, I'm in the car now, I'm about to go. Um, to the store. So I'm about to go to um, Walmart and then Total Wine. And then let me tell y'all what happened. So I was it gonna go back out until like later on because I just didn't want to like deal with traffic. So I Successful wanted to. Pair. I was gonna leave at like six, but I slept through my alarm and I just happened to wake up because like, I had a feeling that like. Um, I slept longer than I should have. So, um, I just happened to look out the window, um, and I was like, why does it seem like it's so late? And I checked my, my clock, it's 6.45. I was like, oh my goodness. So, my original plan for dinner, Moe's, um, cause it's like just right up the street from here, that's not gonna work because I'm definitely not gonna be back by 8 o'clock when they close. So, I'm gonna just get some breadsticks from Papa John's. Yes, just breadsticks. I don't want any pizza or anything. I just want breadsticks. And um, that's going to be it.
just left um, Walmart and I'm gonna show what I got. I just had to get a few things. So I got um, these air fresheners cause my room, it kind of stank a little bit and I'm not really sure where the smell is coming from and I don't really like that. So <laughs> that's what I got. Um, it smells like really good. Um, it says it's infused with natural essential oils. Oh, it smells like fresh linen. So, um, that's my I really love. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, then I got, like, some, um, face wash for when I shave, because I am shaving tonight. Um, this has got to go. Like, this is ugly as shit. Maybe this might have been the reason why I didn't get that job. Because <laughs> my mustache was looking rough. I should have been, you know, shaved it, but I was just lazy, honestly. And then I got some candy because, like, I'm addicted. I have to have candy every night, so. <sighs> but um, now I'm on my way to Total Wine, and I'm going to try to vlog in there because, you know, it's less busy as it is in Walmart, so I will be back in a bit. I thought I was going to vlog in there. It actually wasn't because, like, I got, like, nervous or anything. Like, yeah, there were people, like, um, in the aisle where, like, I got my bottle from. But, um, really, <laughs> that was just the only thing that I was going to get. And I knew that, you know, when I came on, I was probably going to talk for, like, at least, like, a minute or so. Um, and I just kind of wanted to get in and get out. Because I did just order my breadsticks. Um, and it's, like, by me. Um, so it's going to take me hopefully i don't run into any traffic so it's gonna take probably about like 15 minutes to get there something like that but um i just want to show y'all what i got um i actually was just here the other day um and i drunk the whole bottle in like one day not like the same day i got it but like 24 hours like it was gone but i got this baby right here um, don't ask me what it is. I just know that it's sweet and it's, uh, like, sparkling, basically. Um, but it's so good. Like, you can, I mean, you can obviously taste the alcohol, but it's, like, very faint. And if it's not sweet, I'm not gonna drink it. Like, I'm just gonna put that out there. Like, I love sweet wines. So, I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, half that gonna be gone tonight. <laughs> um, I'm gonna edit my video, watch some Housewives, you know, just try to make myself feel better. But I'm feeling good, as you can see. Um, it definitely looks a lot better than it did earlier. The sun came out. It's supposed to be some nice weather tomorrow. So, great weather for me to film my updated car tour. But, um... Oh my gosh, like, one reason that I hate coming here, though, is because they always have to do an ID check for me, which I'm just like, I'm 21 years old, like, that's the legal age to drink, like, what are y'all doing an ID check for? Oh. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, I mean, I know they're just doing their job, but I low-key be getting offended, because I'm just like, I waited 21 long years to be able to just whip that card out, and hey, y'all still gotta fucking do these ID checks and shit, but... Um, I'm gonna apply for a job here tomorrow, though. Um, look, I'm talking all this shit, but I'm gonna apply for this job. <laughs> um, cause I saw that they were hiring. And as a matter of fact, I focused on that when I was walking in. But, um, shoot, why not? I'm not very knowledgeable about, like, you know, wines and alcohol and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, I'm always willing to learn, okay? And that's something I want to learn about anyway. So if they're willing to teach me, baby, I'm ready to learn. But, for anybody who is in Atlanta or is visiting Atlanta and is going to be here for like more than like a day or so, um, and you drink, baby, this is the place to go. It's called Total Wine and More. Um, they actually have a few, if I'm not mistaken, around like the metro area, but the one that's closest to me that I go to, um, it's off Acres Mill Road by Cumberland Mall. Um, you gotta come here. Like, they have everything, like, <laughs> everything you get, you can think of. They even have cigars. Um, so if you smoke, this is the place to go. And it's just so classy in there, you know? It's so nice and quiet. Like, I'm so glad that my friend Victor, 
um, even though his bitch ass don't answer the fucking phone. <laughs> I'm so glad that he put me onto this place because I will definitely be coming here a lot more often. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm about to make my way to Papa John's. Um, this is pretty much like near the end of the vlog. Like my last clip that I'm probably going to show is my new face because look, I'm so glad that it's better. Like, cause you can just see this shit. Like, doesn't this look atrocious? Like, yuck. Ew. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my new face before I end the vlog. So I just got out the shower. I just finished um, working on this. Can't you see the difference? Like, I feel like I look so much better. But like, I just don't really like, you know, facial hair on me. So like, that's why like every time like it gets like that, um, I just, ugh, I start thinking I look ugly. Um, and it's my fault for letting it get like that because um, I have like maintenance days like at the beginning of every month, but I just didn't follow it for June. And the only thing I did was my eyebrows. Now that I'm, I'm not skipping out on that. <laughs> but um, basically this is going to be the end of the vlog. So I'm gonna put everything that I recorded this evening into the timeline. And um, pretty much all I have to do is like just um, export and upload after that. So this video is gonna go up late, but I'm keeping my word. I'm uploading this tonight. Um, and I will be filming again tomorrow because I am gonna film my updated car tour slash update in general. So hopefully I can, no, not hopefully, I am gonna have that uploaded Thursday. But, um, yeah, feels good to be back on camera again. <laughs> but, um, that's gonna be the end of this vlog. Um, so I will catch you next time.